and martyrdom. By witnessing the life of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Today, as we are about to unveil the monument of one of your servants, Padre Jose Bonhoeff, who died fighting for freedom and justice and for the love of, his, of this country. Inspired by his love and dedication to serve his country, help us and all your servants to promote life and liberty, to care most especially the poorest and most vulnerable in our society. Help us, your servants, to be free from the attachment to wealth, privilege, or fame that would prevent us from following the life you have set for us. Illumine our minds, direct our wills, and flame in us a holy passion for doing what is right despite the cost. Provide us the wisdom that whenever we make decisions in life, they are pleasing to you. And shower, O oh Lord, your blessings upon our country. Taste we ask through Christ our Lord. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Salamat, Salamat, Father June. Manatili po tayo nakatayo, uh, lapat po natin ang ating kada kamay sa ating dibdib. At ating pong awitin ang lupang inilang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Salamat, mga rin na po tayo magsiyo po. Muli, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Mapagpala at uh, mapagpalayang umaga sa ating lahat. Tayo po'y binabati at tayo po'y tinatanggap dito po sa pagpapasinaya at uh, pagbabasbas at pagtabi ng tabing para po sa bantayo ng ating Padre Jose Burgos, isang martir, isang bayani ng ating bansa. Si Jose Apolonio Burgos I. Garcia o Padre Burgos ng Gumbursa ay pinanganak noong February, February 9, 1837 sa bayan po ng Vigan, Ilocos Sur at kasama si na Padre Mariano Gomez de Los Angeles at Padre Jacinto Zamora I. del Rosario sila po ay tinatulad ng kamatayan at tinatay sa pamagitan ng garote noong February 17, 1872, dyan lang po sa atin sa bagong bayan. Ngayon po ay binibigyan natin ang parangal at pagpupugay ang ating bayani at martir. Upang batiin ang lahat, lalong-lalo na po ang ating mga panahuyong pandangal, tatawagan po natin para sa pambungan na panalita at pagbati 
ang uh, faithful navigator si Sir Knight Joey Balerite Lat. Honorable Mayor Dr. Hani Lacuna Pangan, the Vice Supreme Master of the Fourth Degree Ferdinand Magellan Province, Sir Knight Anthony Nazario, the Administrator of Intramuros. Attorney Joan Padilla, the Manila Police District Director, General Police Brigadier General Andre Dizon, Reverend Father Norman Abelio, our Knights uh, of Columbus Chaplain of the Order of San Agustin, and Father June Macabillar, Police uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ariel Garamoan, distinguished guests, brother knights and ladies, Good morning. Finally, the long wait is over. What had been a long-held dream has now become a reality. It gives me immense joy to welcome you all to this historic occasion, the unveiling and blessing of Pantayo de Padre Jose Burgos. Today, I wish to enlighten you on the three questions that I'm sure many of you have. First, who was Padre Burgos? For Manila. Father Jose Burgos was born in the province of Ilocosur. He spent his formative years in his hometown. However, most of his adult years have been fruitfully spent here in Manila, particularly, particularly within the hallowed walls of Intramuros. His university and formation years were spent in Intramuros, where he demonstrated scholastic ability earning him respect in the local hierarchy. He had served the people of this beautiful city as pastor of the Manila Cathedral, thanks to Father Khalil Yamato. His devotion to his pastoral ministry garnered him admiration, affection, and respect among his parishioners. Through his words and actions, he not only brought the church closer to the people, and ideally being a true Filipino. Indeed, a day before his martyrdom in Bagumbayan on February 12, 1872, he gave his final words to the students, urging them to study hard and to strive to become educated Filipinos. Laging magig Filipino, isang edukadong Filipino. Truly, Padre Burgos was a devoted priest and a passionate citizen of this beloved land, whose death, along with the deaths of Father Mariano Gomez, and Father Jacinto Zamora triggered the anti-Spanish colonial resistance. Perhaps the next question is, what is a Knights of Columbus? We are a global Catholic fraternal service order founded by Father Michael J. McGibney, now a blessed, on March 29, 1882. Our mission is to empower Catholic men to live their faith at home, in their parish, at work and in their community. Meanwhile, the Knights of Columbus, fourth degree, the order's highest and honorary degree, seeks to instill love of country and impress the duties of citizenship in its members. Patriotism enlightened and informed by religion in its motto. This may lead us now to the last question, why Father Burgos chose them? Love for God and country. This is precisely why, as a Filipino, I believe it is fitting that the first fourth degree assembly of the most foremost assembly in the Philippines, if not in Asia, be named after our dear martyr, Padre Jose Burgos. Incidentally, this Premier Council KC-1000 was established in Intramuros on April 23, 1905. Ang bantayog na ito ay isang malinaw na pagpupugay sa ating kasaysayan bilang Pilipino. At ganun din ang pagunita sa malalim na ugnayan ng pagmamahal sa Diyos at bayan. Ang pagkiling sa katotohanan, ang pagiging tapat sa paglilingkod sa pamilya, bayan at sa simbahan, ang pagsunod sa batas at alidontunin ng lipunan, ang paggalang sa mga pinuno, ang pagtugon sa kapwa, ay ilan lamang halimbawa na mga gawain ng pagiging isang mabuting kristyano at mamamayang Pilipino. 
We pray that this memorial will remind us to the life of Padre Burgos, who may serve as the beacon as we strive to create meaningful lives on earth worthy of heaven. And may our love of God and nation empower us all mabuhay. Marami salamat kapatid na Sir Knight Joey, ang kabalyerong walang painga. At yun naman po yung makinig tayo sa pensahe na namumuno dito po sa atin sa Intramuros ang administrator ng Intramuros Administration, Attorney Joan Padilla. To the Mayor of the City of Manila, Honorable Maria Sheila H. Lacuna Pangan, MPD District Director, Police Brigadier General Andre T. Beeson, Lieutenant Colonel Ariel Saramoan of the Manila Police District, Vice Supreme Master Sir Knight Anthony P. Nazario, Padre Burgos Assembly's Faithful Navigator, Sir Knight Jose Valeri Pellas, Reverend Father June Macabinlar, OSA, Reverend Father Norman M. Abelio, OSA, of course, to our Master of Ceremony, and an alternate member of the Board of Administrators, Mr. Barty L. Avienza. To my fellow colleagues from the government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, mabuhay, good morning. I am truly grateful to be given this opportunity to be present here today to celebrate the blessing and unveiling of the Bantayo ni Padre Burgos here in Intramuros. Padre Jose Burgos dedicated his life to the service of God and the Filipino people. Hence, we pay tribute to a man who not only embodied devotion to his faith, but also exemplified the ideals of patriotism. Alongside Padre Mariano Gomez and Padre Jacinto Zamora, Padre Jose championed political and ecclesiastical reforms in order to empower not just our clergy, but our Filipino nation. Their unwavering commitment to justice and equality led to their persecution and ultimately their tragic death. The execution of the Gombosa shook the nation and their martyrdom ignited a fire among countless Filipinos, including our national hero, Dr. Jose P. Rizal, who penned his world-renowned novel, El Falibusterismo, with Gombosa as the inspiration. Today, June 19, is coincidentally the birthday of our national hero. That is why it is fitting that the organizers have chosen this day to pay tribute to another great Filipino hero, Father Jose Burgos. The world city of Manila is truly blessed to be the home of the Bantayo ni Padre Burgos. In Ramuros, the historic heart of Manila serves as the perfect backdrop for this momentous occasion. Within these walls, the echoes of our, pound, of our past resound, reminding us of the sacrifices made by brave and selfless individuals like Father Burgos. As we stand here today, let us reflect upon their courage and commitment and let their memories inspire us to carry forward the torch of freedom justice, and love of country. To my fellow colleagues from the Intramuros administration, I urge you to continue the important work of preserving and promoting the rich heritage of this remarkable walled city, our beloved Intramuros with its centuries-old churches, grand fortifications and storage streets, encapsulates the essence of our Filipino nation. Let us embrace our responsibility to safeguard its historical and cultural treasure and ensure that its stories continue to be told for generations to come. As we conclude this gathering, let us extend our deepest gratitude 
to all those who have contributed to the success of this blessing and unveiling of Bantayog ng Padre Borgos, your dedication and unwavering commitment to our shared values are truly worthy of emulation. May you continue to serve as an inspiration to us all. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Maraming salamat at Pinusweto Joan Padilla at kikilalanin na rin po natin ang pagdalo ng ating uh, minamahal na konsyal ng Ikalimang District of Manila, Konsyal J.B. Hison. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. Brother Knight din yan. At ngayon naman po itutuloy na tayo sa sentro ng ating gawain sa umaga nito, ang pagpapasinaya at pagtanggal ng tabing at gayon na rin ang pagbabasbas uh, sa ating uh, bantayog ng ating uh, bayani Padre Jose Burgos. At para po dito sa gawain ito, pangungunahan po tayo ng ating panawing pandangal, ang ating uh, minamahal at kagalagalang na Mayor Hani Lacuna Pangan, at siya po isasamahan ni Sir Knight Anthony Nazario, Vice Supreme Master, Ferdinand Magellan Province, at kasama na rin yung ating mga panawin sa uh, nandiyan na na ito sa umaga ito, si Attorney Joan Padilla, Si Police General Andre Dizon, Director ng Distrito ng Manila Police District, si Consiel Dizon, at yun din si Chief of Staff Giorgio Santiago, ang ating isang kapatid din sa Knights of Columbus. So, anya po natin ang ating mahal na mayor na pangunahan ang pagpapasinaya at mabaya-maya sa tugtugin ng banda ng lungsod ng Maynila Ito na po tayo, hawak na po ng ating mga na mayor ang magbubuka ng tabi ng ating bantayo. Simulaan po natin doon sa monumento. At the count of three, we will now unveil the monument to Padre Jose Burgos. One, two, and three. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. All that God has created and sustains all the events he guides and all human works that are good and have a good purpose from those who believe to praise and bless the Lord with hearts and voices. God loves his creation and his goodness sustains the universe. Let us now pray that he will bestow his blessing upon us and that he will renew and support us with his strength. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our Everlasting God, you give life a nobler meaning when we try wholeheartedly to do your will. Fill us with the spirit of your own holiness. For this we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. You want us to increase your gifts and to return them to you and to our neighbor. Accept the offering of our loving service. For this we pray. Lord, you sent your Son into the world to remove the curse of sin and replace it with your blessing. In Christ, fill us with every heavenly blessing. For this we pray. Lord, you your Son's death and resurrection have chosen us to be your people and your inheritance. Remember us in our needs and bless your inheritance. For this we pray. Lord, you 
let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, source of every gift and talent, through your Son, Jesus Christ, we grant us your blessing that the church might be continually nourished and strengthened. As we remember Padre Jose Burgos, we ask you to bless this place. We ask your blessing upon this monument and this space. May it a place of continuous peace and of meditation of your word, calling us to mutual love and tireless service to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. All together, our Father. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Maraming salamat, Father Norman. Bigyan mo natin masigapong palakpakan ng patasalamat ng ating Panginoon para sa araw na ito. At ngayon mga kapatid, pakinggan po natin ang uh, mensahe mula sa ating pinakamamahal at nagmamahal sa ating punong, uh, punong bayan ng Lusod na Maynila. Mga kaibigan, ang kagalang-galang na mayor ng Lusod na Maynila, the Honorable Honey Lacuna Pangan. Ipun na po kayo. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ang pagdalagay ng mahalagang monumento ni Padre Jose Borgos ay pag-alala sa kanyang naging bahagi sa pakikibaka laban sa mapanupil na mananakop noong kapanahunan nila. Ang kanyang kamatayan sa pamamagitan ng garote, kasama si na Padre Mariano Gomez at Padre Jacinto Zamora, ay nagsilbing inspirasyon din sa ating pambansang bayani na si God Jose Rizal sa pagsulat niya ng El Filibusterismo. Isa sa mga itunuturing na bayani ng bansa, kaya sa kanya din na ipangalan ang kalyeng ito dito sa lungsod ng Maynila. Salamat po sa pagsisikap ng Padre Burgos Assembly of the Fourth Degree Knights of Columbus na magkaroon ng nauukol na pag-alala kay Padre Jose Burgos. Sa Diyos at Bayan, alay din natin ang lahat ng ating mga gawain. Maraming salamat sa pagpalang umaga sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po aming pinamamang pinamamahal na Mayor ng City of Manila, Mayor Honey Lacuna Pangan. At siya po na bubo ang ating palatuntunan sa umagang ito. Uli po sa inyong lahat, maraming maraming salamat at mag-isa po tayo sa pagpapalala at at pagkuhunita ng kabayanihan at ang pagkamartil ng ating minamahal na Padre Jose Burgos. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay si Padre Burgos. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. We'd also like to uh, now request our guests to please uh, come in front, join us in, uh, in front of the monument for a photo opportunity.